So the situation was, I've got this jump, jump starter power pack because my battery was going flat and I started using it and it started the car beautifully. It really works really great, but I didn't go have my battery replaced and then I kept on doing that, jump starting it, you know, every two or three days when I decide to use the car. And then I was pulling out of the driveway and my windows didn't want to go down. The indicators didn't want to work. And there's a whole lot of stuff that, and I started sort of getting worried what's going on now. And uh, then my daughter did a bit of a Google search while we were driving and found out that this is the culprit. This isn't the culprit as, as the cause of it necessarily, but it was the the continual jump starting using these high voltage peaks that cause this unit, which is called a footwell unit. Um, it, it goes like if you look under here, um, let me see this. So this area is, if you're sitting in your car, I've got a BM320D. If you're sitting in your car where your bonnet gets open that little lever there. That covering, if you take it off, this is where the footwell module exists. So I was busy um, sorting out my car for a service, so I asked the mechanic to check it out and he says, yes, no, it probably is this footwell module and that it has to be sent outside the city where I live um, and they have to either redo it or replace it or you know, recoded, whatever it is, but he'll get a quote for me. A day or two later, I followed up with him and the quote was like 6,800 Rand, that's South African Rands. And, and that was for the module and we could only get it from BMW, that's what I was told. You know, only BMW and only BMW will fit it into your car. Nobody else is allowed to, so I'm like, yo, this sounds like Apple to me. Who <laughs> they, they don't even give uh, repair companies the parts. Now you have to get it from them. But be it as it may, that was my dilemma. And I thought, let me just go and research it. And being in South Africa, I'm on the coast, uh, east, um, sort of eastern part of South Africa, uh, in a little um, surfing village, not a village, but a city called Jeffreys Bay. So... I went to go look if there's anything in the rest of the country and lo and behold, uh, based on my search, I came across this company. Um, there was a gentleman there called Mike. I phoned the number, spoke with him and he made me feel so relaxed. He, he was explaining and he, his track record, he says, no, no problem, you know, asked him, can I remove it myself or must I get the mechanic to remove it? He gave me all the advice and this was the price that he quoted. He said if I was in Johannesburg, I could drive in, they could do the reset and the recode, whatever they needed to do, and I could drive away with it again. Um, but because I was far away, I would have to courier it up to him. So I sent it up to him. Uh, this unit, I got the mechanic to remove it for me. So the car still drives, but I mean, linkages and, and, and the windows and that sort of stuff don't work, uh, even while the unit was in the car. So I sent this with courier guy. They, we've got an office here in uh, Jeffreys Bay. So I had them couriered up overnight. That was like 125 rand. Really, really uh, worth it. Um, sent it up there, but just one point, they don't uh, give you any warranties or guarantees or ensure these things. That's according to courier guy. I can understand because you know, if something goes missing with it, then they're going to be liable for like a six, 7,000 rand unit or 8,000 rand unit that goes missing. So I got a call from, I, I sent it on the Monday, got a call from Mike on the, on the Tuesday to say he's received it. They've checked it. There was corrupted files on it and it's been repaired and restored and it's busy sent and arrives back on the Wednesday. So it goes up on the Monday, gets repaired the Tuesday, gets sent back. Um, and it cost me a thousand one hundred and twenty rand for it. The one twenty rand is from his side to courier down to the depot here. And that's it. So instead of paying six thousand and then having to code it, uh, it would be seven thousand or eight thousand. 
or to go to BM and have them replace the unit and then code it, probably eight, nine thousand rand. And these guys, if you look at them, they, this, is, this is what they do. This is their speciality. And I spoke to the guy, Mike, and I said, like, you know, did you have any problems with any of the units? He says, basically, all of them were able to be sorted out, repaired, and everything like that. Um, he said there was just one unit, he recalls, that had a bit of an issue because somebody else tried to reprogram it and mess the program up or coding. Took him a little bit longer, but they got that sorted out. So they've, they've got quite a high success rate in getting these things back and functioning. Um, so that's it, folk. Uh, and, and the football unit comes in the BMW and the Mini. And he sent me my VIN number, because the VIN number, you probably can access it only through the coding site. So he sent me my VIN number of the car and everything as soon as he had it uh, repaired. So that's cool. I transferred the money into his account, and that was it. Um, get back uh, within the next day, have it fitted all up and running, and really exciting. So if you're in South Africa and you have this dilemma with a footwell module, contact these guys. They eqrepaircenter.co.za and Possibly this guy, Mike, would still chat to you. Um, I think it's his business, but really cool. Um, so I've saved myself six and 7,000 Rand in getting a part like this sorted out. So big thumbs up to Mike and his business, his team for this FRM uh, repairs. Really, really great, fantastic service. And uh, he deserves all the the acknowledgement and the credit for how they're making it affordable to have these things sorted out. Great stuff. Have a fantastic day. Be blessed and shalom to everybody.